Hello and welcome to CryptoCoin.News. You're watching All Coins This Week and here are today's headlines. Coinbase can't decide if it has approval to trade securities. First bank-owned crypto exchange arrives in Japan. Stellar price soars as IBM backs new stablecoin. IBM has lent its support to the latest attempt to create a cryptocurrency pegged to the US dollar. USD Anchor will be launched by Stronghold, a startup exchange service that operates on the Stellar blockchain. The new coin will be backed by reserves of dollars, which will be placed in a trust fund. This will in turn deposit funds in accounts insured by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. Indeed, IBM support has sent Stellar's price soaring, with the currency overtaking Litecoin on Wednesday to become the fifth largest altcoin by market cap. While the new altcoin is bound to be compared to Tether, the involvement of IBM along with USD Anchor's robust system for quantifying its asset may set it apart. Tether has struggled to assure the crypto public that it holds in reserve the fiat equivalent of all the Tether that has been issued to date. Anchor's association with the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation has obviously piqued the interest of investors with trading at its highest volume since February. After lengthy delays to conform to Japan's strict legal regulatory requirements, SBI Holdings, one of Japan's largest financial companies, has finally opened its crypto exchange to the domestic market. Visa Trade, as the exchange is known, offers exchange services to residents of Japan between the ages of 20 and 70. It is thought that VC Trade is the first fully regulated bank-owned crypto exchange in the world. The exchange offers yen to XRP, Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash and is not currently available to corporate investors. However, with large companies such as Yahoo and Coinbase thought to enter the Japanese market in the coming months, VC Trade has the advantage of an established holding company in the domestic market. Meanwhile, the head of the Swiss Stock Exchange, which recently announced a digital platform for trading securities, has said that he is open to offering cryptocurrency trading services at some point in the future. Speaking to Swiss Info, Stefan Meyer took a pragmatic approach to what he termed new digital assets, starting that any such inclusion on the platform would have to satisfy a due diligence process before making the cut. There was some good news and some bad news for Coinbase this week, with the US exchange platform confirming that it has secured regulatory approval for the acquisition of three US-based security companies. Keystone Capital Corporation, Venove Marketplace, and Digital Wealth LLC are the firms that Coinbase intends to purchase. Approval of this move by the Securities and Exchange Commission would be the first step towards Coinbase offering securities trading to its large customer base. So what was the bad news? Well, a day after making this announcement, Coinbase had to admit that if had not after all received any such approval. They had instead just chatted about the proposed acquisition with some SEC staffers. And now here to comment, we have Andreas Achleitner with his independent opinion on all this recent news. Thanks, guys. This last week in cryptocurrency price action certainly has been interesting as we saw the price of Bitcoin going up 10, almost 11% on news such as institutional money, new CEO of Goldman Sachs, and news from Coinbase about being able to list security tokens. Now, the price of Bitcoin has been hovering between the $7,300 and $7,500 mark for the past couple of days. Looking back on the previous charts, you can go back to November and see that it spent approximately three weeks battling that $7,500 mark before it rocketed up to the all-time highs of the end of year of 2017, very beginning of 2018. We may be seeing very similar things that's going on now with the price as Bitcoin keeps hitting that $7,500 mark. Hopefully that resistance will turn to support and launch us on a new bull market going up. Back to you guys. Thanks, Andreas. It's been a very encouraging start to the week with most of the top 100 coins in the green. Ether opened on Monday at $450 US but had reached $500 by close of Tuesday before achieving a high of $513 on Wednesday. XRP saw its price gain too with a Monday opening of $0.446, quickly giving way to 50 cent trades by Tuesday, with a Wednesday high just shy of 52 cents US. Bitcoin Cash gained more than $120 over three days. It opened at a modest $724, but was up to $880 by Wednesday, before settling at $829 by close of business that day. EOS was no different, opening at $7.40 US on Monday, before rocketing to a high of $9.21 by Wednesday. Stellar, as reported, overtook Litecoin this week, gaining close to 50% over three days.
It's Monday opening of 0.219, all but forgotten, with a huge surge in trading on Wednesday, seeing the currency hit $0.318 US. There were gains across the board in a frantic early week's trading. Stellar's gains were the most noteworthy, but Cardano also had an early week to remember. Its Wednesday high of $0.19 cents is its top price since early June. And that's all we have for today. I'm Helen Moss. And I'm Stan Perzegatsky. Remember to subscribe for more. Until next time.